Growing up in a South Asian, Indo-Caribbean working class family, the rigor of hard work was visible in the calluses of my father's hands and in the depths of weary lines pitted across my mother's face. My parents never had the opportunity to follow their passions. Instead, they worked hard so that I could follow mine. Our immigration status forced us to live and make choices out of fear. By senior year of high school, my socioeconomic status barred me from applying to colleges. But with the help of community members and fundraisers, I was lucky enough to get in and attend. By the time I graduated, my father became ill. I had to assume the role as the head of the household. I couldn't even think about my career or my future because I had to work several jobs to pay the rent and groceries. As I was walk talking through my worries with a dear friend, she mentioned Pursuit and thought it would be a great program to seek guidance, tech skills, and support that I was looking for. I decided to take the leap and apply. During the interview process, I remember my interviewer and Pursuit staff member, Steve, asking me why I wanted to be part of the fellowship. And without hesitation, I told him it was the first time I am choosing for myself what I want to do and where I want my life to go. The fellowship wasn't easy, but I think back to the tribulations of my parents and how lucky I am to be complaining about debugging rather than coming to a new country and adapting to a culture that sees you as an outsider when you're brown and broke. With the training and new job, I have been able to move my family into a bigger apartment with bigger windows, and we finally have heat. Now every day, the sun wakes me up. I complete my eight hour workday from my room and my dad's goat curry replenishes my energy during my lunch break. His face looks a lot brighter too. I hope there's a sense of relief for him in knowing that we will be okay and that he can relax and enjoy the moments with us.